architecture is design and production of spaces that we inhabit, that we pass through, that we conduct our lives around within. Music is kind of almost the same thing. It's another form of space creation. Our, our whole lives are, are soundtracks. Strangely, they're actually really tied together. Forms, structures, patterns, repetition. This idea of being surrounded by concrete has been something I've been working with and is, that I feel has been transforming the way I think about the creative process. To sort of wind up here in a really sort of iconic piece of brutalist architecture just feels like a really natural part of that process. All music is designed for a space. All music is kind of produced with a, a certain architecture informing its production process. The methods that we're using to produce work here are very much kind of us kind of leaving our musicality at the door in a way, trying to be reactive to the environment and to the materials that we're gathering. In terms of like how I'm just coming into it, I think it's kind of incredible. We're coming into this environment with a looser idea and then we're able to sort of construct something from that. that that's the fun part of collaborating. The music you make represents the, the world that you come from. We consume music in a different way, but in terms of our environment, our auditory environment, we're becoming far more sophisticated, I think, in our understanding of it. Constant sense of a sort of almost a subterranean club feeling. We're all experts in, you know, in architecture, in music. We know where to go if we feel a certain way. We wanted to make something specific that got us out of our sort of comfort zone. This is the perfect outlet. I am trying to make the most out of my environment and trying to make a kind of magic out of, you know, rubble. 